Hi everyone, this is uh, Richard Laws here from the Vox Seminole team. Uh, I'm the system builder for uh, Team Voxy and today we've got a new case here from Cooler Master. Uh, this one is called the HAF XM. Uh, HAF obviously means high airflow for those who have known of the Cooler Master case or well, HAF case for a long time but didn't know what it meant. Uh, so it just means high airflow. Okay, so this is obviously the front of the case but you've got the panels up at the moment so we can get you a good look. So what we'll do is we'll just um, bring you in a little bit closer here. Now, obviously on our front panel here, we've got two standard USB ports, USB 2 or 1. Uh, we've got our headphone and microphone sockets and we've got two USB 3. Now also on the front we've got three uh, three and a half inch bays for uh, CD-ROMs and so on and so forth. Now you've also got two X-Dock bays. Now what you can do is just release the clip slide this out and as you can see it has a molded uh, tray that will take either an SSD, a fitted SSD, obviously it's got the screw holes in the bottom as you can see, a fitted SSD or three and a half inch drive. Now what this allows you to, to do is quickly plug in um, additional hard drives whether they're for backup or temporary storage. So all you have to do is pop the, the drive in, slide the drive back into the bay. Now you have to have the door open because it it's actually a lever system, so it goes into the groove on the other side here. Now as you slide that in place, it clicks in and it actually secures the drive against the back panel. Now the back panel you won't be able to see, so what we'll do is we'll actually take the two x dox bays out. And what I might do is adjust the camera so we can actually give you a bit of a view. Now what you'll see inside is adjust the camera here, take the height down to the x dox bay, take it a bit closer and we will zoom it in. Now what you'll see, if you're starting to see it now, there's your circuit board in the back there and what you've got is you've got your standard SATA power and data connections. So yes that allows you to quickly and easily add additional hard drives and so on and so forth. Now. What we've also got here is we'll just put these x dock cartridges back in. Okay, so what we've also got on the front panel is we have um, a 200mm LED fan. It's a blue LED. Now this is controlled by the fan controller up the top. Um, it's actually labelled fan, but it's not really a fan controller. What it does is turns the lights off. So if you're sitting there at night and the blue light's boring your eyeballs out, um, you can turn the light off. Obviously you've got your standard power and reset buttons up the top. Now another thing to note as well is on the top here you've just got a little rubber sleeve and a pouch. I'll pick up the camera so you can see it. So there, so you've got a little rubber sleeve and a pouch and that just allows you to pop keys coins, anything like that. And it's actually removable too, so in clean it because quite often you do get junk uh, junk in there. So now what you get on the top there, you'll see the top, it's obviously a fan bay because you've got two vents there. Now they are uh, 200 millimeter fans. Now you've got two of those. Now this, um, the great thing about this case is it actually does come with the fans. You don't have to uh, go out and buy additional fans to fill empty fan bays in the case because they actually come with fan bays out of the box. Now at the back you'll also see, you can see it on the screen there at the back, uh, you'll also see a 140mm rear fan and yeah that's the fans on there. Now the side panel which I'll bring across. Now. As you see on the side panel here, it's also got space for additional fans. Uh, you can have one 200mm fan or you can have two 140mm fans that screw straight onto the side. It's got the, um, the holes preset for both. Now as you'll see as well, we've got a clipping handle. And the beauty is that here, we spin our case around like so. And what we'll do is just simply sit the, the side panel into its groove and click and then it goes and then to release it you just do that. Now obviously on the back you've still got your uh, thumb screws to secure it, pretty standard stuff but it's got a handy little clip out handle just to secure the side panel so you know if you're in an awkward position you can take the thumb screws out without it falling off and you know uh, clattering on the floor. Now we'll show you the back first before we do the inside. On the back here 
obviously we still got our fan, which we've already talked about. We've got our little uh, rubber surrounded ports here. Uh, that's for a radiator for water cooling. Now you've got your uh, you've got your eight bays there. Uh, this is for your expansion cards. Obviously, it takes three-way SLI. It's designed for three-way SLI as well. And then obviously at the bottom, you've just got your power supply port. Pretty stock standard stuff. And obviously your motherboard tray. Now on the back, I'm actually going to show you the back ones uh, for once because this actually is uh, pretty cool. What we have is rubber sleeved holes in four different positions on the motherboard tray for easy cable management. And this here, I'm not so sure, yeah, it looks like you can see it, okay. Uh, this is actually an SSD drive bay. So you can actually put an SSD drive on the inside of the case, on the inside of the back panel. So it's um, nice and tucked away and hidden away. Now the other stuff is pretty stock standard. We've just got some, you know, some little clips that you can attach cable ties and things like that to. But that's the thing, it just shows you um, straight out the box that um, all the cables coming down from the front panel connector are secured with cable ties and routed through a rubber sleeves holes. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the, the back side. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll actually leave the leave the side panel off because it just allows us to see inside the case a little bit better. Now, obviously, what we'll do is we'll show you first. We'll follow up with what we've been showing you today. Now we'll readjust the camera there, and you'll see your X docs uh, connected. So you can put a Molex power connector in there, two SATA connections, and you got your two X docs ready to go. Now, of course, on the bottom, we've got a filter, because obviously that's where your power supply goes, so you can pop your power supply out, take that filter off and clean it. If it gets um, gummed up with dust, I'll just point that out again, because that might have been off camera there for a minute. So there we go. Okay, that looks nice and neat. Okay, so we've got our power supply here, so little, you'll see it flexing. That's a little filter. Now here's where your cables come out for the motherboard, perfect position, ready to go onto the USB ports and also your cables for your power switch and so on and so forth. Now this here, I couldn't work out what it was originally but um, from what I can see here is actually it's to grab the airflow, you your power supply here, this will actually direct some of the airflow coming in from the front through here and there's a little hole at the top here where it'll come back out again. So it's a really cool um, way to do it but it's also where the bulk if your cables are going to come out, your cable tray and your mainboard um, for the mainboard. So yeah, it's a good way to keep them all tucked away neat and tidy. Now we're pretty much done. There's not a huge amount to show you. You've just got standard Molex connectors for your, for your fans, which is good. But they've also got, you'll see it here. You might be able to see it. It's probably bringing it in a little bit closer. You've also got your um, adapters. So you can plug it straight into the motherboard and from Molex um, power source. Now, we've got heaps of drive bays. Now you've got two, four, six here. Now these are the same system. They clip out and they lever. You can have SSD drive or a three and a half inch drive. Same thing, just keep it open, slide it into its groove, lock it into place. So you've got six of those. You've got three more bays up the top. You've got your two X docks. So theoretically you've got nine SSD drives because you've got an SSD drive bay at the back of the mainboard plate. You've got six more here and two more on the X dock. So theoretically you can have nine or you can have six, six hard drives in those bays just directly there. So that's about it. That's our, um, our new half XM chassis. It's got more cooling than your poker stick at. It's one of the good things about it is the fact that you've got the four fans already installed. Um, the only optional fans it doesn't come with are the ones on the side panel, which is, I think that's fair enough. Now the only other thing, pretty standard kind of case technology here, you've just got to Flick back and forwards, CD-ROM bay. So you just slide your CD-ROM in, click it in place, and it'll hold it nice and firm for you. So there we have it. That's our Cooler Master Half XM case. Now what we'll do is um, if you have a look on cybergamer.com.au on the homepage, you'll see the article that'll go with this review, and that'll show you some more information where you get a full list of tech specs and uh, recommended retail price in Australia. So I hope you enjoyed our look at our new Half XM case. Yeah and tune in for the next one.